top five shotguns for the average dude. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. For this video today, I'm doing my favorite top five shotguns. These are shotguns that I own. This is not some fairy tale video where I'm looking up clips off the internet and telling you about awesome guns that I know nothing about. I shot all of these a ton and they all work good. If you went and picked one up, hey, I wouldn't knock you for it because I know they're good. But I'm going to walk you through real quick, shoot, have a little bit of fun of my top five favorite shotguns. So let's go through the list. And you know what? Tell you the truth, I tried to list these one through five, my favorite and then my fifth favorite. And I just said, fooey, I like them all. So these are all tied for my top five favorite shotguns. But I'm gonna load them up. We're gonna have a little bit of fun and I'll tell you a little bit about them along the way. Let's get to shoot. All right, so first, right off the bat, this is my Hatfield, and I even forgot what this is called. They call this the SGL. This is a budget, single shot, no frills, 12 gauge. You pull the trigger guard right there, and that's your break open. Obviously, you put your shell in there. There's really not much to it. You pull the hammer back, let it fly. It does have a safety right there, but that's number one shotgun, no frills, my Hatfield SGL. It does kick like a mule. Let's uh, have a shot this in a while, see how this baby goes. Wow, I had the safety on. Won't fire with the safety on. Let's shoot it actually this time. Oh yeah, shoots just fine. Let's uh, see if we can shoot a clay here with it. Let me tip the camera up into the sky. Maybe we can see it. All right, now I'm gonna try to throw this up to myself. See if we can shoot it out of the sky with this thing. Where I need to throw? I guess right out that way. See what we can do with it. Probably miss, but I'm gonna try anyways. I missed it, but here's my number one Hatfield single shot. You can pick them up at Wally World. It's not gonna break your bank. Sucker will probably run. You can give it to your grandkids, they'll still be working. But let's go on to number two. All right, number two. This is also a Hatfield, same brand as the first one I showed you. This one is called the Hatfield SAS. This is a semi-auto version. You can pick up at Walmart, super cheap. You guys check it out. But I mean, for the price, this is a semi-auto that I have run over 500 shells through and not had any problems. So it looks good. You take this out, people probably think you paid five, 600 or more for it. And I mean, it's got a fiber optic front sight. It runs like a boss. Let's, uh, let's see how this baby runs. Semi-auto here. As fast as I can pull the trigger. No problemos. Let's load some more. See if I can shoot some plays with it. Five shots. Hopefully I can get one. All right, here we go. Hatfield SAS. See if I can chuck one of these up and hit it. And still keep it in frame. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to try it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Had the safety on, man. I blew that sucker up, but I had the safety off. Let me run get it. Sometimes you get lucky and those clays don't break on the ground. So let's try that again. I probably won't get a good throw this time. Oh yeah. I completely missed. Let's empty it. Hatfield SAS, that is my number two on my top five favorite shotguns. Let's go over and pick up a third. This one is the third shotgun I'm going to show you. This is by Emperor Firearms. Nothing special and again just like about everything I own it's a budget pretty cheap AR-15 style shotgun. I like it because it's AR-15 style 
This one in particular sometimes doesn't like to shoot the cheap loads we're about to find here today. That's all I brought was the cheap ammo because that's all I had was the cheap ammo. I got cheap guns, what can I say? But this one is an Emperor. It's got a mag, it's got safety and uh, bolt release controls just like an AR. But let's see what we can do here. See how it likes to run this ammo I brought out here today. Well, and she's running today, boys. Uh, yeah, I like that a lot. I don't even know what model this is. Uh, this is called the TM1950 for anybody who wants to know. I mean, it's got a screw in choke. It's got AR sights. So, you know, it also has a rail. You could take this off and put some kind of red dot or something if you wanted to, but it's pretty cool. Runs good most of the time. Yeah. I like it a lot. Let's uh, reload this up, see if I can hit any clays with this thing. All right, I think I loaded five in here. Let's see if we can hit this thing this time. Make sure I got the safety off this time. Yep. Oh, when I tried to do the shells or the clays, of course it freaking jams. See how it runs here. I don't know what happened. First time it was running them just fine. When I shoot it under my armpit, which I think I did the first time too, it ran them just fine. But when I shouldered it, it was jamming. So if you have one of these emperors, hey, shoot it under your armpit, it'll run better. That's three. Let's go to my number four favorite shotgun. All right now, my number four favorite shotgun. Let me step back and get on in the frame here. This is a pistol grip, 18 and a half inch barrel. This, I'm gonna read it because I don't have this memorized. This is a New Haven by Mossberg 600 AST. You might not see many of these around. They made them some time ago they don't make them anymore i tell people i got a mossberg 600 they're like no you don't that doesn't that's not a real thing well it is this is a mossberg 600 and i had paul at heavy metal custom put this together for me you can see it's actually pretty awesome it's got a holder for six extra shells it's got a pistol grip on it it's cut to the legal limit it's just a good workhorse pump action shotgun you know when i grab this one when I hear somebody on my property and I'm about to say, boy, get off my property. This is my, yeah, bad dudes are close. Let's grab this baby. And we got extra shells here in case we need them. But you know how it goes. Let's run this baby and see what we can do with it. Let me tell you, I've let people shoot this before. And every time I forget to tell them, do not knock your teeth out. So if you're shooting this, don't try to aim down the barrel like this and put it right in front of your teeth because you will lose some teeth. It doesn't have the butt stock to absorb the shot there. Be careful when you're shooting this puppy. But let me uh, let some sing out of this baby. And uh, yeah, this is my Mossberg Custom 600 here. I haven't shot this thing in a while. I actually really like this one. Oh yeah, that stung my finger and my palm. Let me, uh, I'm gonna leave these on here. Let me load this baby out of the box, see if we can shoot some skeet. Load some more out of my box. Fill it back up, see if we can shoot a clay with this thing. All right, now I'm ready to rock. I'm gonna try to throw this where you can see it and not try to knock my teeth out here. Let's see if we can get this one. Let me try it again. One more try. Ah. I didn't have one loaded. All right. I'm getting lucky on these not breaking. Let me try to throw this one now. Let's just unload it. Look. 
that's number four on my list my mossberg pistol grip shorty 600 that i had heavy metal custom put together for me this one i don't know it might be the most fun one when you pull this out people are like "Ooh, that's awesome but let me get over to my number five top off this list and finish the video all right so number five this light is pretty crummy it's cloudy out here today guys so the light probably won't do this one justice but let's start at the end of the barrel it's got a brass bead on the front it's got real good what do you call that gloss walnut there same on the back real nice gloss I hunt with this so I have that sucker on there what do I have loaded in there Hornady SST slug and then some cheapo birdshot but this if you haven't guessed it already is my Weatherby PA08 is what it's called they don't make these anymore so if you find one I recommend you pick it up but even when these came out I think the combo was 500 and you get an extra barrel let me grab my other barrel so I've got the longer bird barrel on it now but I also have a rifled slug barrel for this gun and really that's the reason that i got it in tennessee there's quite a bit of public land you're not allowed to rifle hunt but you can shotgun hunt so this barrel has a cantilever scope mount on it and i can't tell you how many deer that i've taken with this also when you take this barrel off put it in the closet go shoot some birds put this back on and go deer hunting the scope holds it zero believe it or not I've done that in another video if you want to go watch a full review video on this gun this thing is absolutely awesome I've taken a lot of deer with it there's actually a story to this one my dad told me a long time ago if you get your master's degree I'll buy you whatever gun you want so I got my master's degree and I said I want a Weatherby PA08 and we actually drove uh, quite a long ways to pick one up if I remember right but anyways this is my Weatherby PA08 let's do some shooting with it it also has gold accent and trigger I mean it's Weatherby it's just nice never had any problems out of it it's a good pump gun that I'll have forever but pretty cool let's shoot this thing this one has a, a really good butt pad unlike some of the others we've had out today this one won't hurt you too bad There, jam twice in a row. Probably need to clean it after 10 years. But let's load it up again. I've got to shoot a clay. We're going to shoot until I hit one. I can't have a shotgun video where I miss every single one. Let's load it up again. All right, here we go. First try, I'm going to call it. Smoked it. Let's grab another one. That one I actually aimed. The rest of them I was hoping I could just wing it and get them. Ooh, them again. Let's try another one. Huh. I broke that one in half. Do I have another shot? Let's shoot one more. I can't believe I missed it, but ah, I got another one. We gotta shoot another one. Thought that was my last bullet. Yeah, got that one to smithereens. But there's my number five, Weatherby PA08. There you have it. My top five favorite shotguns. Shotguns that I've owned and had lots of experience with. And hey, I dig them. I like them. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever shot any of these? Which one is your favorite? What's your favorite shotgun? But thanks for watching, guys. A big shout out and a big thanks to Heavy Metal. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!